This is video in our Kate Top 10, the fast talking quick action video game show dedicated to all those gamers out there who tune in to get the lowdown on all the games, music, movies, and tips we feature each week here on Video in our Kate Top 10. There's no better deal around. You can face off against each other, or you can play here in studio, or you can play at home. You can do whatever you want. If you want to be home, play it right in and get in on the action without leaving your house. We've also got great contests, and Liza's going to tell you about a brand new one. This is one for all the Trekkers out there. From Captain Kirk to Jean-Luc Picard, Star Trek has always been hot. And here's your chance to win a Star Trek prize pack that includes a replica of the Starship Enterprise, a phaser gun, a totally cool communicator badge, which Robbie is modeling today, three action figures, and a fan club membership, all courtesy of Playmates, Toys, and Marquee. All you've got to do is get your name in the draw we're having, and all this great stuff could be yours. How do you enter? Just write in and give us the answer to this question. Before Captain Kirk, there was another person that headed the crew of the Starship Enterprise. Can you name him? Nick, where do they write in? You can get your answers into us by sending a letter to video in Arcade Top 10, 550 Queen Street East, Suite 330, Toronto, Ontario, M5A1V2. Good luck. Let's see what's up on video in Arcade Top 10 this week. Hey, people, today I've got an update on the awesome game Star Fox Plus. As always, my movie pick of the week. Hey, you're in the right place to be for chart-topping music and tip-wise, I've got a new game for you, Kirby's Adventure. FCI is in the studio with two hot and happening games, Bingo for Play on Game Boy, and Break Time for Play on NES. Okay, people, today we've got a game a lot of you have probably already played the old-fashioned way. I'm talking chips, I'm talking cards. Think you got it? Nah, not poker. I'm talking bingo, but this version's got a little twist. Introducing from FCI Panel Action Bingo for Play on Game Boy. Grandma never had it so good. Now let's head over to meet our four hopefuls. Lindsay, how you doing? Good. Have you ever played bingo before, like on the cards? No. Nope. No, never even oh, on yeah. the cards? Yeah, on the cards, they have birthday parties and stuff, me too. You haven't played this one, though. No. Well, good luck. It's going to be fun. You're playing with Sean Krause from Edmonton. Jay, how are you doing today? Fine. Anyone you want to say hi to? My best friend, Matthew, and my family. Perfect. Your home player is Merrick is Islam of Brassad. Adam, how are you doing today? Fine. Who do you want to say hi to out there? My family and my four, my two best friends, Chris and Greg. Great. You are playing with Dustin Williams of St. John's. Robert, who do you want to say hi to today? Uh, my mom, my dad, and my best friend, Sean. You think you're going to play real good today? Yeah. Perfect. Your home player is Andrew Chan of Edmonton, Alberta. Our champ today will be the person who can rack up the most points while playing in the one-player number mode. All right, players, turn around and kick it. Liza, please tell them what they're playing for. Our third and fourth place contestants will be taking home a t-shirt courtesy of our friends at LA Gear. Today's runner-up will receive a funky Indiglow watch from Timex. Its luminescent face and sleek look make it a very happening item. And the first place winner, along with their play-at-home partner, will each receive a copy of FCI's Panel Action Bingo. Nicholas, we're heading over to you to start some more game action. All right, now, when I say bingo, what comes to mind? You're thinking maybe a bunch of people sitting in a group, staring at their cards, listening to the announcer, number 5B, who goes ballistic when they scream bingo, and the numbers come up. Is that right? Well, no. That's old news now. FCI has come up with a whole new way to play an old favorite, and this video version of bingo rules. It does. First of all, you have an opportunity to play in an alphabet or number mode, as well as the one or two player option. And get this, you're a bird and your opponent is a cat. All right, well, you've got to defeat your feline foe. How do you do that? Simple, make sure to grab more squares than your opponent. When you take enough squares to make a line vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, you've spelled bingo, and the game is yours. Sounds easy, huh? If nobody manages to make the line, the person with the most squares is the champ. How do you take a square? Very simple. Move your character to the square and press A. If the square you're on follows the sequence, you've claimed that it's yours. All right, and since our players are competing in the one-player number mode, why don't we talk about that one a little bit? The 25 number squares of the panel are positioned all over the screen. When you choose the number panel, you've got to take squares in numerical order, 1 through 25. I can almost count that high. It oh. sounds easy, but you've got to be quick with your hands and eyes. The number one panel could be in the bottom left corner, while the number two panel could be in the top right. If you don't get over there quick enough, the cat will steal it right from under your beak. Mm -mm. Bad news. As you advance through the stage, the game will get more difficult. Your opponent will become stronger, and special characters will appear to throw you off course. Now, there are 60 screens in this game. The four rounds in each stage, and um, in rounds one, to three, the number of special characters change. So round four is a bonus game. You earn extra points if you make it into this round. 
and the screen in the bonus round is blank. It's you against the cat. What happens is this. There's a little man that's going to pop up at various points on the screen. You've got to get over to him, cover him, and press the A button. The square is now yours. Look All for the little right. guy. Whichever person has the most squares gets the points. Easy. Remember, this guy is fast. One second he's in one spot, the next he's somewhere else. We've got a bunch more bingo hints coming up, but first let's head over to Rob with some Nintendo tips. Hello, hello, hello. If you're looking for adventure and fun, you've tuned into the right station, because today on Nintendo Tips, I'm going to give you the lowdown on a brand new game, Kirby's Adventure. Now, what would Dreamland be without dreams? A walking nightmare. That's why Kirby's back in action and hopping mad. It seems the dream spring has dried up, leaving the Dreamlanders facing sleepless nights. Kirby decides to investigate, and lo and behold, who should he find bathing in the dream spring but that dastardly villain, King DDD? King DDD admits that he has broken the valuable star rod in seven pieces, giving each piece to a different friend. Kirby sets off to find the pieces and return the pleasure to the Dream and the Dreamlanders. Kirby must make his way through seven different lands in order to successfully collect the piece of the wand. Now these stages are Vegetable Valley, Ice Cream Island, Butter Building, Grape Garden, Orange Ocean, and the big challenge, Rainbow Resort. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Sounds like a tough job, but don't worry this time around. Kirby's got some extra powers to help him out. What are they? Sorry, denied. I'm out of time, but keep tuning in. Find out what the future holds. Let's get back to Bingo Rama. We is back. Liza, why don't you fill us in on the special characters that we talked oh, about? Oh, gosh, it would be my pleasure. Sure thing. <laughs> like we said, as you play, special characters will appear every couple of screens. They will affect your game, but not your opponents. For example, the black hole. The cat can cross this square, no problem. If you land on it, it's curtains for you. So if you want to take a panel behind the black hole, you got to take the long way around. The star character works sort of like a roadblock. The bird will find it impossible to cross this panel, but the cat won't. So if there's a panel you want behind the star, you've got to be faster than the cat. Get around the star and grab it. There are some pretty cool options you can choose to play with as well. Personally, I like the ice stage and the second three. In the second three, if you stay on one square longer than a set time, you automatically are sent to another square at random. And if you choose the ice stage, your character moves to the edge of the square as if it were sliding on the ice to stop before you skid and miss your panel. Press the control pad in the opposite direction. Well, not bad, not bad at all, but for a bigger challenge, I prefer the break D and hide options. In the break D, the numbers or letters are all hidden and can only be seen when the A button is pushed. So use that noggin to remember where they are. In the hide option, some of the squares aren't displayed until one of the players takes the square and nobody knows what it is. Mm -hmm. It sounds pretty tough, but trust me, it becomes easier the more you play. If you actually make it to the 31st round, the game goes into the reverse mode. This means you must take squares going from 25 to 1 or letters from Z to A. In other words, the better you are, the harder they're going to be on you. Tricky. Well, our contestants are doing great, so it's time to head over to Lexa with today's Pioneer Top 5. Well, the Pioneer Top 5 looks something like this. At number 5, Abbott and Costello Comedy Collection. At number 4, Chaplin. At number 3, Enchanted April. At number 2, Matinee. And at numero uno is Leap of Faith. If you want to grab a couple of laser discs courtesy of Pioneer, get your name entered into our draw by writing in with the answer to this question. The silent screen star was considered a comic genius and one of the all-time greats. Also known as the Little Tramp, he's in the top five, so name him. Ben Samper of Parksville, BC, won a pair of laser discs for knowing that Tom Selleck played the role of Magnum P.I. Okay, guys, we're going to take a short break, but don't go too far, because we're coming right back with the winner of FCI's Panel Action Bingo. Stay tuned. thank them all for coming out but we can only have one winner and that person is player number two Adam all right way to go Adam congratulations for coming out on top you get this awesome V&A prize pack first the funky sky fighter system from play toy industries then get moving to the sweet sounds of Janet Jackson with your new CD Janet next maximize your playing skills with your speed board from fidelity electronics and last but not least mom's gonna be real happy with this one it's your game sound system from a light wave technology Congratulations, excellent prize, and thanks to everybody for coming out and playing the game. Now let's head over to Lexa and the Nintendo News Update. Hey, I'm back with something I know you want to take notes on. Welcome aboard the combat ship R-Wing. You are Fox McCloud, and this is the always awesome game Star Fox. Now, we've given a couple of hints and tips for this game in earlier segments, but we've never really introduced you to your wingmen. These are the people who back you up and help you fly a successful mission. And I think in order to play your best, you need to know who you've got on your side, so here it goes. Your number one flyer would have to be Falco Lombardi. 
As a member of the avian race, Falco is at home in the skies or in space. In fact, if you ask me, I'd have to say he's a better skilled pilot than the big guy Fox McCloud. But don't try to get him to admit that, though. Despite his quick temper that leads him to argue with Fox, the two are great friends and loyal allies when it comes to combat. The polar opposite of Falco Lombardi would have to be Peppy Hare. He is the moderating force in the Star Fox team. Extremely intelligent, he is the brains of the bunch, and with his gentle nature, he manages to keep the crew calm. He's an invaluable member of the team, and his skill as a pilot is an added bonus. Last but not least is Slippy Toad. Slippy's a passive guy with a positive outlook. This is a good thing because Slippy always gets himself into one strange situation after another. He's a comic relief on dangerous missions. Well, there you have it. These guys are your friends and partners. They usually fight behind you out of sight, but they will go the distance for you. You are the leader of this band of space adventures, and it is your responsibility to make sure they survive the mission, so good luck. It looks like our next contestants are ready and raring to go, so let's head back to more game action. Rack them up, grab the chalk, and get behind. The 8-Ball FCI is in the house with a game for all you sharks out there. Pick up your cue and get pumped for break time, the National Pool Tour. Let's head over to meet our four potential hustlers. Matthew, how you doing? Fine. Have you played regular pool before?